Hey, Mike here, and today we're going to go over how to make your very first Snapchat filter, or lens as they're called. So open up Lens Studio, and then click the New Project button. So for our first lens, we're going to be making a face stretch lens. Uh, it's pretty easy to get up and running with those. So all we need to do is over here in the Objects panel, click the plus button, and we can either scroll down to find it, or just search for stretch. Hit enter, and now we have a face here uh, with a bunch of different control points. Now really quick, if you click something else over here and you get back in this 3D view, I uh, just click on the face stretch, it'll bring this right back up. So here we have a few different points. Um, let's go over them. So we have a few gray points here, and then the rest are white. So a gray point, it's anchored, so only move if you move it. A white point, if we click and drag one, we can see other points are kind of moving with it. Now as we release, that point we dragged now is anchored. So we can see um, the face will mostly move proportional with it. Once we've adjusted the point, Lens Studio will assume we want it that way and lock it into place. So as you're clicking and dragging these points, if you see some points moving, some not, um, that's why. The gray points, you have to click to move white points to move with a gray point. So as I'm sure you've seen over here on the right, as we move the points, our preview is changing. So all we got to do is just drag the points, make this look how we want, and we're good. So a few helpful uh, tools here. We can turn off symmetry if we want to just grab the one side of the face, and then we can turn it back on. If we decide we don't like what's going on here, we can click the Reset Points button, or back to how we started. And then we can also zoom in and out using the scroll wheel on the mouse. So I'm just going to start dragging points out. So I think I want to make your head pretty big. So you can see as you're stretching, uh, some parts of the face are pretty unaffected, and other parts are stretched a lot. So I'm just going to come in and try to adjust some of these points so I don't get too much stretching in places. So I'm just going to drag everything way out. And really make this exaggerated. Uh, with the face stretch lenses, they tend to work best if it's like a subtle effect. Uh, maybe it's part of another effect you're working on or if it's really exaggerated. So I want to try and keep the face itself not too distorted. I just want to make it a lot bigger. So now let's come in and start to fix the eyes. Eyebrows. Nose got stretched out a little bit. Um, I don't really know that there's a good way to pan, so you just gotta zoom out and then put your mouse cursor where you want to focus and then zoom in there. Okay. So now that we have that, we can come over to the preview. We can look at a few different faces, make sure effect is looking good. So now I'm noticing we kind of have a blocky head. Let's round that out a little bit. Let's take a look at a few faces, make sure I have any weird stretching. Make sure it all looks good. All right, so we looked at a few different face types. Uh, we can also look at opening mouths, raising eyebrows, smiling. All right, so now that this is looking good, uh, we are just about ready to submit. So we can go over and go File, Save. I'm going to go to my folder. What I use for Snapchat. 
I'm going to call this ginormous head. Open up the folder. And then give the project a name. Now, before we can submit, we need a preview and an icon. So for the icon, you can design it from scratch. You can get really fancy with it. Or I can come down here in the bottom right of the preview and click Take Screenshot. And so that will just save um, a picture of whatever's here. So I'm just going to call that Screenshots. Make sure I'm saving it in my folder. All right, so now we have the screenshot saved. I'm going to click on Project Info. Let's give this a name. Ginormous head. Click this plus. Choose our screenshot. Let's make the icon. We'll click Apply. Apply that one's Preview. So this will let us choose any of these preview videos over here. So I'm going to choose the same one I use for my icon. Now hit apply. So we have our name, we have the preview, we have our icon. Let's hit apply. Let's save everything. Let's click publish lens. So we have our icon, our name, our preview got added. So let's add some tags. So this will just help people find our lens while they're searching. So you can type it out and either hit the little blue plus or just hit enter. So I'm just going to add a few different tags. A scan trigger, uh, if you hold up your phone and scan a person, it'll bring up lenses. So by selecting person, this is just letting Snapchat know that this lens can be included um, in that list. It doesn't mean it will be, but it could be. So once that's done, let's hit submit. All right, and that takes us to my lenses. Um, we can also click this button up here to get here at any time. So we can have our total views over whichever time period we choose. Now we can see all the different lenses we've submitted. So their review process is usually pretty quick. So if we click the refresh button, see their lens is now live. So you'll get an email with the link to the lens, whichever email you have associated with your Snapchat account. Or you can expand this, scan the snap code, or click share and copy the link. Um, so now you can share the lens with all your friends. And after a while, uh, you'll start to get some stats here. There is a minimum threshold you need to meet. It's not too high, but if you aren't seeing views, I'll just give it a little longer, let more people use your lens. And also keep in mind these sets only update once per day. Uh, so you aren't going to get real-time updates here. Uh, you just got to check back once a day to kind of see how things are going.